Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Tonight we're going to be working on putting together the Zumspot kit from Ham Radio Outlet. Let's take a look and unbox at what you get from HRO. All right, first thing we have our actual Zumspot kit right here. I did also, and I did crack this open a little early, but here is the actual tag for it. I did go ahead and buy a case from HRO. This is the ZRZ1AS uh, acrylic case for the Zumspot. And if you want to set your hotspot up uh, facing you in the shack, you're going to need one of these 90 degree uh, SMAs here. So I also picked one of these up while I was at HRO. All right, first things first, let's move the case aside and see what we get inside of our Zumspot case here. All right, first thing looks like we have some hardware here. This looks like the actual Zum board here with the 1.3 inch OLED screen. And this must be our Pi Zero, yes indeed. So there you go, you have three essential things in the box, hardware and the two boards. All right, now moving on to this case. Uh, again, this is a acrylic case. Here are all the pieces um, that did come in the case. Put those down. Also looks like we have some instructions on how to actually set up the pie with the case and build it out. These actually don't look half bad. We'll definitely use those. And it looks like we have another baggie of hardware for installing our boards with the case. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if you're buying the case, you're gonna to have to go through and take off all of the uh, brown paper that comes on each one of these pieces. Now, the instructions do give you a tip. If it is kind of hard to take off, you can use hot water and they will actually peel off much, much easier. Let's give this a shot. Okay, so I completely understand the warm water now. These things are a pain to get started. It almost seems like they don't peel off. They're that hard to get to, so we are gonna find ourselves some hot water. All right, so we got ourselves a cup of warm water here, and we're gonna see if this makes it any easier. Move this out of the way as to not drip on the board. And we'll go ahead and put this on. And just a little bit of warm water there on the edges. Oh yeah, warm water definitely makes a huge difference. Highly, highly recommend the warm water. It's uh, gonna make your life way easier. All right, one of the first things you wanna do is take your screws here for your case and insert it into these little black uh, plastic feet that will go on the bottom of your case. So go ahead and thread those in. Then find the part of your acrylic case that has the writing on it. It'll say made in the USA. Go ahead and find that. And we're gonna go ahead and put the screws here into the bottom of the case. All right, once we got them in place, let's go ahead and turn it right side down and we can start building. The next piece you're gonna wanna find is this black piece that has the little notch right here on the flat side. Go ahead and place this straight down on top of the bottom of the case. So go ahead and just set those screws in there. All right, that was step two. All right, the next piece you're gonna to wanna to find looks like this very clear U-shape that has no holes in it. And we're gonna go ahead and also put that down and just put it around the edges of the screws just like so. All right, now that we have that in place, we're able to mount the pie. But remember, before you mount the pie in, you have to take out the SD card, otherwise it will not fit. So go ahead and set that aside. And now we're gonna go on ahead and turn around. Oh, let's see, which way am I going here? And pick up your plastic piece for the side. This plastic piece goes to cover uh, the two sides excuse me, the one side of the case that has the ports here on the pie, just like that. 
All right, so we're gonna wanna go ahead. All right, now we're gonna wanna go ahead and slide with this plastic part on the Raspberry Pi onto the set screws here. All right, got the second side in. So now, without lifting this up because the screws can come undone, we have the side of the case now protected there with the ports, and we do have the Raspberry Pi Zero sitting in the case. All right, the next piece you're gonna wanna find is kind of a singular plastic piece like this. And then you're also gonna wanna find these two plastic pieces that came with your hardware. There should be two of them. Once we have that, we are gonna route this right up here, just like so. And we're gonna take the two plastic pieces and notch those at like corners, whoops. And notch those like corners by placing them right down on top of the screws and they should fit right up against and kind of have a little plastic notch. If you take a look very closely here, see the little notch? That's what's gonna slide on to that uh, kind of port protector area here on the case. So again, it should slide over the top and kind of slot in just like that. All right, the next piece we're gonna put in looks like this. It's a large clear plastic piece. It has a slot for the uh, cereal up here. Let's go ahead and set that into place. All right, we're looking good. That is in place on the next one. All right, the piece after that that's gonna complement it is gonna be this plastic piece. Um, has this kind of large opening here. So let's go ahead and get that set on the screws. Again, matching up the cereal here. All right, that piece is on. All right, now comes the zoom spot itself. Pay attention here, do not press on the glass. You don't wanna bust your OLED screen before you even get a chance to turn it on. With the rounded part of the zoom, where it's bumped out down here, facing away from you, you want the antenna port to the left for proper installation. All right, so let's go ahead and get the serial here set on. Again, not to press on the glass. And yep, there we go. I'm feeling it come through. All right, now that zoom is set on the case. All right, next up for you will be kind of like this just uh, pretty plain rectangular one here. So let's go ahead and set that around the edge of the zoom. Fits on there nicely. Just around the edge of the board, just like that. All right, next up comes this piece right here. Let's go ahead and get that mounted up. And watch yourself for the screen there. You wanna not be pushing down on the screen. All right, that one is in place. All right, right now we are sitting at, what are we at, step 12 here on your instructions, if you're using that to follow along. We're now moving on to number 13 where we have to actually add the brass nuts on top of the zoom spot and then tighten the bottom screws down. So I said you have these little tiny brass nuts that come with your kit. And we'll go ahead and put those in. All right, we got that one started. Move on to the next one up here. Again, just slide it in to where it's getting near the screw, get to the bottom, and begin kind of turning that screw into that brass bracket. All right, we have our four brass stands installed. We're ready to move on to the next phase. And if you've never built a hotspot for, putting on the brass stands and getting it all to kind of crunch down together, this is the most frustrating part, especially when you have big hands like I do. All right, next piece will be this plastic U that will go down over the top of the brass. There we go. Next part will be 
a black piece. Looks like this. That will also go down over the brass. There we go. And the final piece. Uh, obviously you want the larger opening to be where your antenna port is here on the left hand side. We'll go ahead and put that down over the top of the brass. Actually, whoops, I forgot. Before you do that, you want to make sure you take off this a little sticker here on your OLED screen. I don't want that on there. There we go. All right, so put this back. Back to the screen now. You should have, all right, now you should have an extra brass stand, but also four screws that will slot in to each corner where the brass stands are. And let's go ahead and slot this thing in. It's looking good. All right, we got our four screws here attached uh, to the hotspot. And that is one of the things I like about this uh, ZUM spot so far is it does leave you access to the SD card slot. That way, if you do need to pull the card for some reason um, to do an upgrade or to reflash something, you can easily get to it, which is really, really nice. All right, we got our SD card back installed. Again, PyStar is already flashed on. Let's go ahead, fire this thing up and see what it can do. All right, so I have a portable battery pack here. Let's go ahead and find that power port and fire this thing up. There we go. And let's see. Just gonna take off my 90 here. Just make it a little easier to see. And you'll notice here on the inside of the ZUM, we do have a light lit up, so we are getting power. And we got lights flashing. That is a good sign. So there you have it. There is my build of the ZUMSOT from Ham Radio Outlet. Hopefully you found it valuable. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more great Ham Radio videos. Um, I really do appreciate every single subscriber out there. Uh, again, high quality stuff here. I really like uh, what HRO is putting out. Uh, good stuff. Can't recommend it enough. You should go pick one up. Uh, again, this entire kit you see right here will run you, oh, I think with the 90 degree elbow, I would want to say it was $168 at Ham Radio Outlet. But while it is more expensive than some of the Chinese spots out there, this is a really nice quality build. You'll not have any problems with it. It's a good quality piece. Again, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you again next time.